Hey guys, so as some of you may know, Pearl Abyss is trying to implement a system where you can guarantee an enhancement to Tet and then to Pen. What this means is they want to try and implement something similar to Force Enhance all the way up to plus 15 for Tet plus 19 and Pen plus 20. Now their initial press release stated that they wanted to use Cron Stones. You would use Cron Stones to gain Cron Energy, and once you got a certain amount of Cron Energy, you would be able to use that Cron Energy to advance your weapon or armor to pen guaranteed, no chance of failure. However, this received quite a bit of backlash from the community, as Cron Stones, especially in Korea, are obtainable by heating up costumes. If you heat up costumes, you'll get Cron Stones which means that players would be able to purchase hundreds of costumes, heat them into cron stones, and then use those cron stones to guarantee full pen gear, which kind of defeats the point of not being able to buy full pen gear. So recently, and by recently I mean yesterday, there was they released a new press conference where they said that they are going to change the They still want to implement the system. They still want the guaranteed tech, guaranteed, guaranteed pens, but instead of Cron Enhancement Stones, it will be the Cafrus Enhancement System. So you'll still be able to enhance your gear to pen safely. Your, the original enhancement system will still exist. And the Cafrus Enhancement System will still require the same amount or maybe even more resources and effort at, than the original enhancement system. So you can choose either one. And the new system will not require Cron Stones, but a new item called Cafrus Stones. The Kaffir stones will be obtainable via grinding, mining, wood chopping, underwater gathering, and fluid collecting. The Kaffir enhancement will be available for try or higher, so only for Ted and Pen. And you can summon the Black Spirit, choose it, and use add the Kaffir stones to your gear. The gear will then gain experience based on the Kaffir stones, and once you get to uh, a certain level, the Force enhancement will activate, and you'll be able to guarantee. A successful upgrade. So in addition to this they'll gain additional item effects when the experience reaches a certain level. So you're not just getting the guaranteed enhancement at 30 stacks here for the uh, Tet going to Pen. You're also getting various extra buffs and bonus stats to your weapon. So from what it looks like, Kaffir Stones are going to be similar to Sharps and Hards, which is a little concerning because the price for Kaffir Stone will be 1 million silver at max, which it will be. It'll always sell for max. And going from Try to Tet will require about 1.5 billion, and going from Tet to Pan will require about 15 to 18 billion. So 1.5 billion silver uh, divided by a million is 1,500 of them. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't even have anywhere close to 1,500 sharps and herds. Um, and let alone for Pen, where you'd need over 15,000 of them, it gets even more difficult. Right? Yeah. So, hopefully, the drop rates are decent. Uh, it is a viable way. Because personally, I would love this if I could just... If I had a way to guarantee successful tets or successful pens... That's probably all I do. I don't really like gambling with my super expensive items that take a month or two months of grinding for me to uh, earn the money for again. I prefer to just kind of do it the safe way. Going up to try, I'm fine with because try isn't that difficult. It's just the annoyance of buying memory fragments. But going further is pretty annoying. So this is a pretty awesome system. Hopefully it gets implemented, but uh, it will remain kind of remain to be seen if they continue forward to this. The GM notes also mention the combat power, which is the combined gear score of the character's main AP, awakening AP, and DP. It'll be tiers for combat power, and characters will get bonus stats depending on their tier. Uh, an icon that indicates the character's combat power tier will also appear next to the character's name, which means you'll be able to kind of see a person's gear score and see just how powerful they are. If someone with a gear score of over 600 comes to take your spot, uh, there's not too much you can do if you're some poor 400, 450, maybe 500 pleb. So it'll be pretty interesting to see 
how all of this is implemented, especially the bonuses, because if the bonuses are only for the top tier players, it's just making the rich richer and expanding the gulf that already exists between soft cap players and lower gear score players. But if it's achievable for most players, like current 450, 500 gear score players can get most of the tiers, uh, it could be a way to kind of bridge that gap. So we'll have to see how the scaling is applied. If you're one of the top 0.1% combat power players, a special icon next to your character's name will be visible to everyone, and their Pearlbus is discussing the option to turn this icon on or off. Uh, they also ended the note saying that Black Desert Online has been out for years now, and they wanted to add more fun to the game. They also apologized for the controversy over the Cronstone Enhancement System and for not being clear enough in explaining the new combat power and tier system. So pretty much what it's kind of talking about is Cronstones, the concern is pay to win. They don't we don't want them to be, people to be able to just buy costumes, heat them up to get the Cronstones, and then, hey presto, you're guaranteed to be able to get your item all the way up to pen. Now, what that does kind of, I'm kind of unsure of if Kaffir Stones are going to be purchasable, because Cronstones are purchasable from the Blacksmith. Um, if Kaffir Stones aren't purchasable, that could be, uh, that'll make it much more difficult to get the tets and pens guaranteed, especially because if the, it's all going to depend really on their drop rate. And knowing Pearl Abyss, I don't expect the drop rate to be all that exceptional. So we'll have to see. As for the combat power, um, like I said, it remains to be seen once again how they're going to implement it. If it's implemented well and it allows players that are at mid-level gear scores, so about 450 to 500, to kind of catch up a bit to higher gear score players and it just gives higher gear score players a bit more of a boost on top of their already amazing gear score, that'd be awesome. If it's just a way for higher gear score players to kind of soar into the stratosphere and become totally untouchable and not even take damage from uh, lower gear score players or players that are just below the gear score requirements, that could be a bit more of a problem and make the already unbalanced PvP scene even worse. But It'll remain to be seen how these are implemented. I am kind of excited for these changes. Hopefully uh, they're implemented well, fingers crossed, and uh, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, comment below on what you think is gonna happen with the guaranteed enhancement system and the combat power. Uh, thanks for watching, subscribe if you like it, and have a good one.